classic performance and uh, we're here today on the water and what we have today is something very special it's a 33 eliminator 33 foot uh, eliminator catamaran and uh, we'll take a quick walk around take a look at it and I'll tell you just very quickly it's got uh, two 540 Merlins in it we got our Bravo outdrives I'm co-extension boxes and uh, a whole host of goodies uh, drive showers and so forth so anyway, let's just take a quick walk around at the, uh, and take a look at the uh, uh, Eliminator 33 Daytona and uh, see what you think. So this is the original gel coat paint on this boat. Um, and this was, this was a former race boat. Uh, this boat was campaigned by Eliminator boats uh, and raced offshore uh, for, for a couple of seasons and then was retired uh, and has come back uh, to be a uh, kind of a sport boat but obviously you've got uh, one two three four uh, passengers in the back and down you see in the bottom you've got these uh, uh, straps that you put on your arms or you can hold on to because you'll get a little light in your seat on this guy uh, when you're up to speed we'll take a look at the the, the uh, driver's compartment here and uh, there's a lot going on of course you've got your uh, Lavorsky throttles and shifters you've got your you know tabs in and out and so forth your uh, Lavorsky recall a GPS speedometer and this boat when it was raced uh, you've got instrumentation over here in the passenger compartment when this boat was raced uh, you had a throttle man over here and in the seat pocket which is kind of like this seat pocket right here but in that seat pocket were, were the throttles so he ran the throttles when this thing came out of the water he chopped these throttles back and put them back on full as soon as you hit the water to keep the thing from over spinning or breaking a shaft or something like that and over here all this guy did was drive but now the throttles have been moved to this location here and set up for a, a single person operation you've got fuel right here vent tube uh, this boat carries down the gunnels uh, you've got roughly 90 gallons on each side so this holds 180 gallons of fuel and we just filled it up and uh, all the way up front here you've got a cabin in here uh, and then here's your your front sponsors so what what happens on this boat and I'll, I'll see if I can get a shot underneath is one of the the successful things about a catamaran is that it packs air under the hull and it lifts the boat up and what you can do is you've got tabs in the back that you can close which will trap the air so it's an air entrapment hull and this baby will lift out of the water on the packed air that goes down so let's let's move down here and take a quick look underneath this thing but under here is where your your trapped air is so you pack this baby full of air going 100 miles an hour to boat inside the water you close you close the tabs in the back and you can control the amount of airflow impacted behind the boat uh, excuse me uh, for this what they call an air entrapment hull so that's how this thing gains lift and uh, makes its way out of the water all right, we're in the water with the Eliminator. We're taking a look at the business end of things. We've got a, we've got a little bit of wave action here, uh, if you can still hear me. But, but basically, these are the drives here. So you've got uh, hydraulic steering right here, uh, water jacketed exhaust. You can see the, the area in which the water comes out. These are, the, these are the jackets on the exhaust right here. So water jacketed exhaust. I'm coat uh, torsion drive system here with your... Mercury Mercruiser, Mercury Racing, Bravo drives. Um, and, I'll, and I'll show you this one, and, and, and both of them are exactly the same. Uh, this is your drive shower right here. So you've got two lines. you got a pickup line right down here by the prop. So when this prop comes around, it hits this pickup, blows water over the drive to keep it cool. You've got another cooler line right here, and this comes from the nose cone uh, of that Bravo drive, and it pushes water up. So you've got two sources of water, and it showers this gear drive uh, with fresh water to keep it cool. I mentioned these plates here, too. Uh, these are the plates that hydraulic wheel will come down as the captain determines to trap that air in the hull and lift this thing out of the water. Okay, so like I said, you got two Merlin big blocks, so you got one set up here, and you got the identical setup over here. But you take a look at this boat from the water, and you can just see how big of a craft this is. This boat probably weighs 10 to 11,000 pounds, and uh, it's a 
it's a big machine and that length helps it to bridge bridge swells and in and, and waves and uh, in rough water and so forth and it's very successful and incredibly smooth even on a rough day like today so let's uh let's put some fire in the hole crank these two 540 merlins up let you take a listen to them get them warmed up and we're going to put it back on the trailer and we're going to have another video coming out where we're at speed with this boat and you can really see what it does on the open water appropriate to do a, uh, a video here to show you just the the size of this craft uh, here in the shop we've just got it out back out of the water uh, but basically if you watch the previous video there's the air entrapment hole that you can see that goes all the way back to the end so this is a true catamaran I can see the back wall of the shop through here um, and just look how you know, obviously your steps to get up on top way up here but let's look down the side of it and you can just see how long this thing is and you're looking at 33 feet of boat, triple axle. Uh, this is an extreme custom trailer right here. Aluminum staircase to get up into the boat. And on the back end, you've got your transom and your drive guards right here. And this is the business end of things. And here's a better look at these, uh, these flaps right here, which come down to control the, uh, you know, the air in these two sides. Uh, of the hull so you have the the lift action and you can see the hydraulic rams for those on each side uh, both sides are exactly the same and then this is your connecting bar that keeps both drives that going in the same direction uh, when your hydraulic steering rams push things fore and aft so anyway we're here on the port side uh, engine cover is up and we'll go up here and just take a quick look uh, at these 540 Merlins Well, we didn't get a very good look at the engines uh, on the Eliminator. My battery went dead up here, right here at the shop, and I had to come back and get my charger and put in a little juice, and we've closed the shop up for the night. But uh, anyway, we'll get that boat out again and uh, do a running video, take a look at the motors. But I will tell you a little bit about them. Uh, they're 540 Merlin blocks, 540 cubic inches, uh, aluminum heads, roller cams, uh, of course, all... Uh, uh, forged and uh, steel uh, bottom ends uh, Holly uh, sniper uh, the sniper junior ex uh, uh, injection system and they're just normally aspirated big blocks with uh, water injected headers 
uh, nothing crazy. No superchargers, turbochargers, all that kind of stuff. Just very reliable uh, 540 big blocks putting out uh, a little over 700 horsepower aside. So 1400 horsepower on running through the Bravos and uh, let it rip. So uh, anyway, that's going to do it for the... Uh, uh, for the Eliminator 33, and uh, catch us next time, and we'll be taking this thing for a ride. So if you like classic uh, performance vehicles, cars, trucks, boats, planes, you name it, uh, we'll be trying to cover it. Uh, so give us a subscription. We love having you uh, here on the channel, and have a great day.